Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is the 20th episode of my Black Ops 2 Weapon Guide. This time, we're covering the B-23R. This three-round burst pistol is a future derivative of the M93 Rafika, first seen in Modern Warfare 2, and in Black Ops 2 multiplayer it is unlocked at level 19. The Beretta M93R is an Italian weapon, essentially a burst-fire variant of the Beretta 92, better known as the M9 in service with the US military. The B-23R is a semi-fictional derivative of the M93 design, and from the designation we can infer that it was introduced in 2023. The R stands for Rafica, which is the Italian word for burst or volley. The B-23R model is some distance removed from the existing M93R design. It more closely resembles a custom M1911 pistol in some respects. Also of note is the folded front foregrip present on the weapon. Sadly, this stabilizing feature doesn't see any use. In-game, damage is moderate. The B-23R is capable of killing with three shots at a close range, meaning a single well-aimed burst to center mass should kill. At a longer range, you'll need up to six shots to kill. Note that there is no headshot multiplier, so aiming for the head is a fruitless endeavor. And as a smaller target, going for headshots may even hamper the weapon's effectiveness. Rate of fire is very high within the burst, at 1022 rounds per minute. This works out at a respectable 703 rounds per minute overall, as there is a short but mandatory burst delay. Hipfire spread is good, on par with the other pistols, although to ensure maximum burst lethality, it is usually best to aim your shots. Recoil is moderate, with the weapon tending upwards, but the burst fire mode will help to keep your accuracy in check, with the weapon settling between bursts. The kit can spoil your chances of landing three hits with a single burst from a middle range out, however, and coupled with the lower damage, the B-23R's effectiveness suffers greatly outside of a close range. Aim time is very quick, at 125 milliseconds, and you'll move at 100% of the maximum base speed. Magazine capacity is generally sufficient, at 15 rounds or 5 bursts. With extended clip, you'll get 21 rounds or 7 bursts instead. Reloads are relatively quick, at 1.63 seconds, although in a typical firefight you will want to make your first magazine count. The B-23R is a close-range weapon, and as such, our class will embrace this. Shock tactics, designed to get close and clear objectives of opposition. Our attachment choice is dual wield. Double the pistols for double the close-range firepower. The single B-23R rapidly loses its effectiveness at a middle range, so packing two pistols and losing the ability to aim is less of a sacrifice than you might suspect and the ability to deliver two simultaneous bursts onto a close-range target is a potent one. Paired with a highly mobile class build, this extra firepower can be put to good use, and so the remainder of our class is a perk heavy set designed to keep you in the fight. Perk 1 Greed will permit two choices from the first tier, and our first choice is Lightweight. A 7% movement speed increase will let you close the gap more quickly, and leave you exposed for less time en route to your objective. Once you get there, our second perk one choice will help keep you alive. Flak Jacket will reduce the explosive damage you take, increasing the odds that you'll be able to capture a point or secure a clutch defuse. Scavenger in your second tier will permit resupplies of your pistols, as well as your grenades, allowing you to happily burn through magazine after magazine, safe in the knowledge that you can always resupply. Perk 3 Greed gives us another two choices from the final tier, the first of which is Extreme Conditioning. Double Sprint Endurance will help you maneuver around the map as the situation dictates, and as a result you'll find yourself arriving at objectives sooner and tackling opponents at a closer range. Second up, Dexterity will permit faster firing after sprinting, improving your ability to react whilst on the move. This will mean you can sprint with impunity, and quickly emerge from a mobile state to fire two simultaneous bursts upon your foe. Finally, a smoke grenade completes our loadout, and will prove a very useful tool when tackling objectives. While the smoke will harm your visibility as well as your opponents, a dual wield loadout is less reliant on precision, and as such if you suspect a hidden enemy is lurking within your smoke, 
A few bursts might feel out their position. With Scavenger, you'll be able to resupply your smoke and tackle multiple objectives in a single life. All while keeping up a non-stop aggressive pace. That's our build. One centred around two pistols. Disposing of what little long-ranged ability the B-23R has in exchange for overwhelming close-range potential. For deathmatch game modes, you could drop Perk 1 Greed and Flak Jacket and instead load up on grenades. Lethal options such as Semtex grenades can extend your reach. And a pair of concussion grenades can also help to close the gap between you and your enemy. As a backup weapon, the Beretta works just fine without any attachments. But if you have points to spend and don't want to elect dual wield, then the magazine-related attachments, either fast mags or extended clip, will usually yield the biggest improvement. The B-23R is a devastating backup weapon, capable of killing very quickly at a close range with a well-aimed burst. No other pistol can put three rounds into a target as quickly as the Beretta, and within its three-hit kill range, you'll be able to outpace even most SMGs in terms of time to kill. However, outside of a close range, the B-23R loses its effectiveness very quickly indeed, with low damage and moderate recoil meaning you'll need multiple bursts to kill. With a small but significant delay between bursts, this can mean you'll be left vulnerable, so it's best to limit the Beretta to close range engagements only. Still, this will usually be the case when using a pistol as a backup weapon, and within this role, the B-23R performs very well. While its lack of versatility might hamper its use as a surrogate primary, a mobile loadout will help to close the gap and to preserve your effectiveness. Should an opponent pop up and surprise you, a quick switch and three rounds from your trusty backup might just burst their bubble. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me next week when I'll be covering the FAL OSW. Until then, farewell. <laughs>